Okay, so first you're going to open your PNG file. I created one in Illustrator earlier, so I'm just going to open it in the Silhouette software and then move it down here a little. Um, then you want to select the trace tool here and select trace area. So I clicked on that and then click, um, you want to go outside of the area, not like on, you know, whatever part you want to cut. Um, you're going to want to go outside of that area and then click your mouse and hold your mouse and drag over the entire design that you want. Use my high pass filter here and just drag it over and until everything is yellow there. Right there. And then I want to trace it. And then you can move this part up. You don't need this anymore. Okay, so you can delete this image. You won't need that. Now let's get it to the size we want it. So select on it and you can see it has the width and the height measurements there. And I want it about five inches, maybe a little bit more. So you just hold your mouse and drag to about there. And then another really important thing when you're doing heat transfer is you need to mirror the image. So go to object, mirror, flip horizontally because you want it to cut backwards. So I'm going to put this up to the edge. Then we need to also select here, um, it's under this page setup tab. Select under cutting mat, none, because you don't need a cutting mat for heat transfer. And I just put it a little way from the edge just to be safe. Okay, so I have my flocked heat transfer. You want to use the shiniest side, the glossy side, down. And then you have the line on your silhouette there. Just line it up there, kind of hold it across so that it guides in, and then hit load. And then back to the computer. Go to send. And then the material is heat transfer flocked. And then click next and I have it set for the auto blade so I won't need to set the blade and and send you can unload Then normally I would try to design stuff and cut all the way across so that I can just slice it for reuse easier, but I can still use that side. So I'm just going to cut off the design area. Okay, now you have to remove the parts of the on the heat transfer that you don't that aren't going to be on the shirt. So for, for this design, it's going to be the outside edge, and you just pull it off. And then you don't have to have a tool, but it is kind of nice. Um, so I'm going to have the heart on there, and then I'm going to pull off her name and leave the little, I don't know, you probably can't see them on here, but the little parts inside of the letters, you leave that in there. So I'm going to pull off the little hearts. And if you have one of these pick tools, it does help, or a toothpick or something to get it started. It's not absolutely necessary. You could just find the edge and bend it up and pull it off too. But for some designs, the little pick tool is nice. So just pull those out. And then see like in the A, you leave the center there. So then this is the what's going to go on the shirt. I have my shirt and I pre-washed it and I don't use an ironing board. I just use, um, I have bricks underneath here and a double layered smooth towel. And so I pre-washed my shirt and then just lay it out. If you need to iron it to make it flat, then do that. Then you take your design with the glossy side up 
and center it where you want it. And then I have this uh, waxy paper. I think it's Teflon paper. You could also use a thin towel on top of it, but you don't want to iron directly on this. So just cover up your design. And then my iron, I have no water in it, and I have it set for the for a size or for five. I'm not sure what fabric that is, but I've done it on six before too, and that works fine too. Then you just need to hold it on there for about 45 to 60 seconds. You can lift up the edge and see I'll have to do it twice. So it's covering the top right now, and then I'll move it down. making sure the rest of it's covered, and it is. So 45 to 60 more seconds. Okay, and then I just do a quick one. So right now I have the whole design already heated, and you don't really have to do this part, I just do it. And then set your iron aside. Now you just have to let it cool. And then once it's cooled down, you can start to peel it. Do it slowly just in case. I mean, it, there's, it shouldn't not be stuck on there. It should be stuck on there. And then just peel it up slowly. If there are any pieces that aren't stuck on there, then just keep this on there and iron it additional time. And there you have it. I can't wait to see it on her.